What's up, boys and girls? How we doing? Hey, this is TLD Live Chat. We are a thin line defense. We are live. You have found us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Discord, right? That's the four we're working on now. So uh, yeah. welcome. If you're new. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, we lost Joe. Somebody, somebody tried to jump in early so they can get a prize. <laughs> You never know. It's random, guys. We lost Joe for a know. second, but see, look, Harry. Harry's even calling too. Uh, <laughs> like, hey, hey Packers, I need one. Like he, he didn't even wait. Hey. He didn't wait. He's like Packers. I love it. I love it. Yeah. First comment. <laughs> uh, yeah. So if you guys are new and you're just finding our our channel here, go ahead and subscribe. This is where we kind of interact with our subscribers, our friends, and fans out there. Uh, you know, we, we chit chat for at least an hour, hour and a half. Uh, we normally have a little bit of an agenda where we like to talk about our videos from the previous week. Uh, and then after that, we just go wherever the wind takes us. But um, welcome, if you're just finding us, uh, to you guys like Harry out there and Misfit and all our, our friends out there that, that come every week. Thanks for coming back. But we'll get this thing started. Uh, this week, Braden was always bit he's always busy but this week he was really busy put out two videos but uh we'll start with the olight video if you don't mind no sounds good now get to hear he's make a comment about the placards too so um we'll talk about the olight one the biggest reason we want to talk about this first is because there's a flash sale going on i think started like 30 minutes ago um these things sell out stupid fast i don't know about the rest of y'all but i pretty much wait until these flash sales and that's when i usually buy whatever i'm looking for because you usually get them like 30 or 40 percent off um, but if you're interested in them, I think the one the one of the lights they have that this time around is the Boulder Mini RL. So there's the regular Boulder Mini, which of course I don't have next to me, and then there's the RL, which is the actual like red light version. So red this, laser. There's, a, there's a green one and a red one. So L stand for light. <laughs> yeah, yeah, RL red light. Uh, so if you haven't seen the video, this is different in the PL Mini Two. Um, which we all love, which is floating around here somewhere. Here it is. Cody's got you. No, copy. Okay. Oh, you got it on the frame. Look at you. You're playing ahead. Like, that's not a gun. Um, that's not a gun, <laughs> so, YouTube. The, yeah, the PO Mini is just a light. So there's nothing really fancy about this. We love these. They have this really cool cutie that fits on just about anything. Um, I kind of talked about in the video, but this is really the big selling point. This is probably the number one selling point is the fact that you can fit it on our subcompacts, full size. It doesn't matter what setup. Like, Cody and I run P320s, and, like, he just showed a Wilson combat grip. You can put this on it. We can do a compact grip. We can do the same. We can do a full-size grip. Use the same thing. So we all like these because they go on the small guns and the big ones. You just use one light on everything, and it doesn't – we're going to get to this in a minute, too, my new annoyance. But the difference in the Balder Mini and the Balder RL Mini – is it includes both the light and the laser. So then you have three different modes. You can do just the light. You can do the light and the laser, which is kind of what they're trying to sell. So like basically you would illuminate an area and then still have a laser out there in space. I kind of talked about in the video, I still found myself looking at the red dot. Like I wouldn't really looking at the laser. It's kind of a weird one. I still like to have the red dot and just the light, but I did like the added weight of this compared to the PL2. So it just reduced recoil a little bit, but it wasn't like a ton. It's like an ounce. And then the final setting you can do is just laser. I think it's probably a good segue. Um, who here likes just lasers? Well, I think you made a good point in your video. You were talking about you can have a laser zero to a ten, you know, have a ten yard zero, have your red dot at a hundred yards, or whatever you, you know, fifty yards, whatever you want to zero it at, and then you have a laser that you can use for CQB stuff. And then you have a red dot that you can reach out and touch something with. Yeah, yeah. yeah, just yeah but like you said in your video, sorry, like you said in your video, if, you know, if you have someone that's not really tra trained uh, with a red dot or irons, that that laser is pretty. You know, if you're inside of a house or something, if you're trying to defend the family, you know, you put it on somebody's chest, you're going to hit what you're aiming at. Yeah, even if you flinch. Yeah. yeah, no, that's true. I think that's the biggest thing I thought of was like, you know, I would want to give this to someone like, hey, you guard the door. Like, I don't know how to use this. Okay, fine. Just turn this on. <laughs> You're yeah. really fine. 
just keep that point in their direction. Now, I did get into a bit of a, of a Reddit battle um, the past few days because somebody posted up like a $400 flashlight. And I kind of commented, I'm like, you know, this is like the weirdest flex that I'm starting to see in the tactical community, which is flashlights. Now, it's everything. If you spend more money on it, it's better. I'm so tired of that in the shooting community. Uh, I, I just hate – I'm kind of like, guys, this is kind of weird. Like, I'm seeing posts on flashlights. Cool, you spent $400 on a flashlight. And we review a lot of flashlights. Yeah, and it takes a battery. Like, it, it, it takes – yeah, it takes a battery. It emits light. Like, one shouldn't cost $400 ever. I'd just buy like, another pistol for that. <laughs> I don't – like – the entire community I was talking to, they were like, I can't understand how you don't see the value in this. Like, no, I don't see it at all. At all. It's a flashlight. Like, my kids got yeah, those. Show me, cool, man. show me how it's better than a $100 flashlight or a $50 flashlight, and I'll tell I'll, I'll yeah. tell you that I see the value in it. Yeah. Like, but you can't. I, cool. I, actively, I actively looked for a different flashlight when I went to buy another small one for the Hellcat. I actively looked for a different flashlight. And I couldn't find another flashlight that was rechargeable and that was a decent price. I couldn't that, find that, it. The TLR7 I know you're looking at. It's like 200 bucks, wasn't it? Yeah, and I don't think – I think that one takes a battery, don't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's not rechargeable. I don't think I don't yeah, think and, one. And I will say a precursor – you said that that flashlight fits on a lot of guns. It will not fit on the Hellcat. As is. Um, yeah, yeah, as is. So, yeah. Well, some people micro, take right? the – yeah, so people take the, the GL, the one made for a Glock, and they file it down. It's too tall. That part's too tall. So some people take that and file it down. I just took it completely out and put the screws back in, and the heads of the screws fit perfectly in the slot, and I run it like that. Hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, I, so big one, these lights, as much as people like may give Olight grief, they're cheap. They work. If you break one, you just buy another one. I don't. I think we all have them, and I think we've been using them for years. None of us have ever had one die on us. None of us have oh. issues, and I think we have multiple of them. We have like thousands of rounds for them. My my peel too many. This this light is older than the channel, and it still works perfectly fine. Uh, yeah, and you put it to you put it to charge, and something go, you know, bang in the night or whatever. You just lift it off the charger like it just disconnects from the gun. I don't have to worry about unplugging anything or if I put a new battery in my light. I don't have to worry about it. That's what I like, too. I yeah, just my, charge the whole holster and just lock it on there. Yeah. Yeah. My Glock 19 that I have concealed in my bedroom has a PL1, like the first one, and I've only recharged it once. I go in there every once in a while when I think about it to make sure the light works, and it's it's worked. I, like that's what that is do way like, older uh, than the channel. <laughs> yeah. And uh, hold on, we'll, we'll come to you in just a second, Harry. Yes. So, okay. Do you do you run this light on your EDC? I run the PL2 Mini on my EDC. Um, yeah. When I when I go out and play Battle Gun, like when I'm playing Big Boy Gun, I'll use the Balder, but I still leave it in the. Um, I'll still leave it in just the light mode, just so I have the added weight, just to offset some of that recoil. But yeah, this is this is on my EDC every day. What do you guys run for your EDCs? I had my Hellcat, I run that. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, Jason. No, you're fine. I got the original Valkyrie, not the mini. That's why I use my ADC. So the bigger one, yeah. Yep. But yeah, we've, I've, we've been, I've been running this for years. Yeah, I have the PO Mini 2 on the on the Hellcat, and then I have a PO Mini 2 on my CZ, my battle pistol. And one thing we talked about that's pretty cool is if you run the same light or when we run P320s, and Cody's, that's probably what Cody's going to show. You can we can just change out slides, but then use different grips. So I can use the same light, different slides. Different, we, I can switch everything around, but then the same holsters fit. So yeah. it's really neat when you use the same light and it's reten use the retention on the light from the holster and not on the slide. You can switch everything. In. So th here's the mistake I made uh, with working with Chuck at 1441. So this is the Bellator. This is for my drop holster, and I got the PL one on there. And then when I was talking to him about making my EDC for my appendix carry, I I don't know why I did this, but I put the Enforce on there. So 
this is my EDC holster from 1441. And it's got the big old enforce on there, but it's you know it's a pretty good flashlight. But the same thing, like you guys were saying earlier, it takes a it takes a battery, and guess what? It's one of those. The one twenty three. Yeah. 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 And they're so expensive. I, yeah. yeah. You got to factor that into the cost of it. If I could buy a flashlight that's rechargeable for sixty bucks, even if you get a flashlight for forty, you still spend more than me after the first three years. Yeah. yeah. So this is a C C R two. Oh, yeah, those, okay. Those are expensive too. Yeah. yeah. Those are like four or five bucks each. Um, Harry, what are you saying? Uh, if not, which lights? If any, it's supposed, uh, clarify your question for us, and we'll we'll go through it for you. He's saying if we don't carry the O lights, what do we carry? But we all carry O light except for Cody. He made a mistake with the holster. Yeah. Well, oh. I bought this flashlight. <laughs> I bought this flashlight from my uh, my airsoft pistol. Mm. And Sweet. when I was when I was ordering this like a dummy, I put the wrong flashlight on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have other ones. I mean, I have an Enforce on my 300 blackout rifle that I like. Um, I had on my duty gun. I had uh, the TLR one, not the HL Harry. I had the TLR one, and uh, that actually, I, I was at the range and it broke. the The clamp broke on it. Like I'm shooting the gun, and the thing just fell off of it. So I replaced it with the PL one, and and luckily the holster that I had, it's a Safari Land. Uh, the the PL one fits in that same holster, just because it's it's a big old circle that the PL one can fit in there. Yeah, so yeah, Harry's saying he had this thing, the TL one HL, and maybe I it's, maybe I'll pull the picture, big. but they're huge. Like that's the yeah. thing. Like, you do a carry gun, and you want to try and you still want to be able to maneuver. I'll pull it up while you guys are talking, but we'll talk about. Um, we got Joe here. I didn't see he snuck in. But one thing too, even with the fact that we got to review flashlights all the time, like I have to stock up on batteries. Like you know, how annoying this is. He's talking about getting four CR one twenty threes for twenty dollars. I just have to have so many mm. random batteries. That it's just obnoxious because like oh that thing needs more batteries we got to do more of the review you ran it for yeah. an hour the batteries out all right let me pull yeah. up a picture of that teal teal one teal r one yeah. yeah I mean it's a very it's a, I'll be right back it's a good it's a good flashlight I enjoyed it I had mine for gosh like five years on my my Glock twenty three for work and yeah it was just it was surprising you know a stream light all of a sudden one day just popping off the gun. So replace it with the uh, PL1 and have it have a look back. Sorry, I'm there trying to pull this up. Yeah, I mean that's that's ridiculous. Like, look at the price of it. That's not gonna work. Let me see Where's the price? You know they don't show the price. That's a bad sign. <laughs> and it Maybe. takes two bad. It takes two CR123 batteries. Oof. No thanks. If if you were to go with one of those, I would say save the money, buy the LA Police Gear version of it. It's like sixty five bucks, and I think it comes with a one year warranty. It's basically the exact same light, but half the price. Isn't the seven the new one? Yeah, that's the new one. Um, but this one, I think this one's like three hundred dollars, two hundred fifty. Yeah, that's expensive. Yeah. But even then, and that's not. It doesn't have a Q a QD no. mount either. That's, mm -hmm. that's on there. And batteries still. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. listen. O light catches a lot of grief, but God, I can't find a better light. Oh, Especially for the price. Look at look, listen. Look at Joe over here. He's got a Surefire X three hundred on his Glock nineteen. <laughs> I think it's giant. You seen some? There's. I think a Surefire makes. I don't know if it's X three hundred, but they make one that looks like a spotlight that you could put onto your gun. Mm. It's so bizarre, I, man. See, you'll be happy to know I got in a little bit of a Reddit battle. I was talking this a minute ago. Um, somebody posted a mod light, four hundred dollar flashlight. We've talked about it before, and they just lost their mind. Where I was like, "Cool, cool flashlights, guys." Uh, they weren't happy about that. Here's my thing: is this is my Hellcat frame, right? There's no light that fits on this that doesn't stick out. The O light mm -hmm. sticks out the least amount. Yeah, and that's that was my problem looking for lights. And like I said, I'll take this off. Maybe you can see it. See, I just have the screws. Oh, yeah. No, no inner rail, just the mm -hmm. screws, and they fit perfectly into that slot. So I can run this on my Hellcat. There's, there's not a lot of flashlights out there that that fit on the these micro pistols. Yeah. 
So here, yeah. So he said, too late. I'm going to get a bald, a baldy, most likely for a new G3. I may, I may possibly. Maybe. So if you do, Harry, don't forget to use our code. I was going to say, right now they're doing their flash sale, so it's like thirty dollars, like thirty percent off the Balder minis. Uh, right now, the sale just started about an hour ago. Yeah, I don't know if it's both the red and the green. I really do like the green, but if one is thirty dollars off, I'm going to be fine with it. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to worry much about it. I would go red just because that's what I've trained with with red dots and everything for so long that my eye picks up red better. My, my only thing with the red, I found with the red, like if he's running a red dot, I found like you can't really see it on the footage. But when you're looking through both, you'll kind of see the red dot and the dot, but they'll kind of mix together. Yeah, I the think, green I kind think, of separate out. I was going to tell you, if you're running a, if you're running an actual red dot in your pistol, I wouldn't run a laser. I yeah. get, I get why people want a laser, but that's what the red dot's for. I mean, it, that's it's a one-way laser. But, like, yeah. that's really think about it, you know? I mean, it's still cool that you have it, like on that Boulder Mini. So if you can turn it off, if you don't want to use the laser, turn it off. Say your red dot dies, guess what? Boop, pop your, yep. your laser on, and you got that as a backup. Yep. Hey, what's uh, up, Zach? Thanks, buddy. <laughs> miss you too, man. So Zach, Zach says, I miss you, Joe. On a serious note, recommendations for something without a rail, such as a Glock 43. Ooh, a flashlight? Or, uh, or a pistol without a rail. Yeah. Clarify, that Zach. Do you want are you saying that recommendation for a gun light that attaches without a rail? Or a gun without a rail? Like what are you asking for a recommendation on? I think he's asking for light, but yeah, we'll we'll get back to him soon. Yeah. To Lights, Jason gonna be the expert on that probably, but um, yeah, I know saying, that yeah. I know that going back, yeah, like so going back to Jason talking about um LA fleece gear, they have some pretty good lights that won't break the bank. So I would definitely go on to LA fleece gear and see if you can find one of the ones that kind of clip on to the to the front of the trigger guard. We should bother him and see if we can get a couple of those to try out. Hey Zach, yeah. you probably if I remember correctly, you probably wear a suit, right? So uh, when I did the same thing, I had a little stream light. It was a deep pocket, had a deep pocket clip on. I still have it. I wear it every day. Uh, and I, that's what I wore in my suit. And I put that in my wallet side of my suit pocket. So I always had a light. Now I still have that light and I have a little O light keychain light on my keys. But I mean, yeah, I have, what do I have? I, I bought like a $30 rechargeable one. It's a micro USB. I, mm -hmm. It might be. It's not stream light. Who is it? I forget who makes it. Um, but it's it's a great little light. Thirty bucks on Amazon, and you can run that in your pocket. But if you're talking about you, mounting a mounting one, mm, that's hard. Yeah, that little stream light one. The clip, uh, say you, like you got a hat on with a bill, you can slide it onto your hat. So like when I did, you know, any kind of crime scene searches, that was the first flashlight I pulled out of my pocket because it was always on me. Yeah, I like Ali Pleasker has some good stuff uh, yeah. for cheap cheap light. If well, his uh, Glock forty three is not going to have a rail, so he's asking about. I believe Zach's asking about a handheld light that he would have, or because the gun doesn't mount. have a rail. Yeah, they make the they make the lights that have a mount that just clip onto the front of the trigger rail, the trigger guard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't. I just don't know if I would trust that. Hey, people have been What's running that? those on 1911 forever. Okay. What's that Olight one that had the, the combat Clips grip? right here. Oh, that's a Warrior X Pro. That thing's gigantic. Well, didn't they oh, have the one that... that... Didn't they have a Mini? Mm, I don't think Odin so. Talking about Odin Mini. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Odin Mini. That was a good light. Yeah. yeah. The Warrior X Pro is different. I mean, that, that'd be kind of big to carry around in your pocket. but. Yeah, if you want a, if you want a pocket light... I. I actually have one of those stream lights like Cody. I have two of them and I like them. It uses a AAA battery. It's great for just yeah. for what I used when I was wearing a suit, man. It was, you know, dropping my keys underneath the mine. desk and stuff. Worked out great. I, I, I rarely exactly use it like a crime scene. Yeah. It's clipped Here's in my jeans question. right now. Um unrelated, but I got an uh, unrelated. Well, okay, we're off on we're off on a tangent. Here we go. Um, but I got an <laughs> It's the best place to be. Yeah. I got an RMR CC on a on a Glock 19, and the window is rather small in comparison to the normal RMR. Yeah. Or is it me needing to practice more? No, I, 
they have to make it smaller. Like, so you have to realize that it's going to have well, to it's get kind of, Go ahead, no, you're, you're absolutely right. It is smaller, but it's kind of bizarre because the RMRCC is made for guns like Joe's gun, like the micro compacts, the Glock 19s typically have, they're typically milled out to hold a standard RMR, which is just going to be bigger. You're talking about, I don't know, five, five millimeters or something like that. 21 compared to, you know, 16 or, or whatever it is. But yeah, you do have a smaller window. Definitely. So but yeah, I don't know practice. if you got jump from lights or not, but so it is a stream light, Cody. I got yeah. this off of Amazon. It's a tiny little pin light. It's super bright. And the, the bronze one, I think they call it flat dark, but more bronze. It starts off at the highest power. And then if you double click it, it goes to a lower power. And then you open it up and it takes a micro micro USB and it's rechargeable for 30 there bucks. Go. There yeah. you go, Zach. Yeah. And like you said, Cody, you, you have a little clip that. that you clip it onto your, you can, it has a double clip. So this part yep. clips onto your pocket and then it, it double clips up here. So you can clip it onto your hat or whatever. Super light. This is what I carry for the job right now. Yep. Mm -hmm. You can't beat that. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, but yeah, Harry, I would honestly recommend, I know you got the armor CC. I would probably put a full size red dot on that, um, but you don't have to, you, you, I'm sure you can train into it. The, the size of the window doesn't matter if you can draw. So what we're talking about, he, he was saying his arm RCC while you're gone, Joe, uh, the window's kind of small. If you can draw and your dots there, it doesn't really matter how big the window is. Like I wouldn't care how big the window is because I can draw and my red dot's going to be there anyway. So it's, can if you, you are actually right? looking down, if you're looking down the iron sights, you can see the dot. So just treat it like you always do when you're, where you're looking down the iron sights and you're going to see the dot regardless of how big the window is. Yeah. Yeah. Train, 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 train. And then like to the point where you should draw with your eyes closed, come up with it and open your eyes and the dot's going to be there. Like that's the level you want to be at anyway. So it's not going to matter. Like if you train well, it won't matter. If you like it, keep going with it. Don't, don't switch it out or anything. Just keep training. And the nice part about that, the reflex dot in there wherever it's floating around in that window if you have it zeroed in like if you don't get it exactly in the center of the, the glass and you you see the dot you know you're gonna hit what you're aiming at that's that's the nice thing yeah the window is small but your red dot as long as you can see the red dot you should be good yeah hit me up here if we want to do so, if you want to go through some drills um on on red dots too we got, got some cool ones i can show you yeah and the cool part about doing all your drill with red dot is it's completely free and you can do it in your house just make sure your firearm unloaded, boys and girls. Yeah. So many people do silly stuff. I still don't understand that people go clean their guns and they shoot themselves. It's like 90% yeah. of the time. Like, yeah. what are y'all doing with just live yeah. rounds just like bouncing around? I saw a new one where someone cleaned, like they cleaned it, but I guess the extractor didn't grab the round from the chamber. So they're like, oh, okay. Like didn't check, didn't like look. Oh, okay, nothing's in there. Whack, bow, there it goes. Like. God. Well, and they didn't clean it very good if they didn't send a cleaning yeah. rod down the barrel. <laughs> the, I don't, the first, I don't. The first thing I do, I don't. Know, let's rack this and pull the trigger. Let's do that immediately, like that. Yeah, no. Now, I don't know how. Hand. I don't know how the three twenty is, but a Glock, you need to pull the trigger in order to take it down. That's how you don't. That's okay. how this is. That's is how that? the Hellcat is. Yeah. yeah. That's how all Springfields are. But I always, I, I rack it. I look. I lock stick. it to the rear. I stick my finger in there, yeah. and I actually look down inside there. And then, when yeah. it's all good and good to go, then I flip the lever, slide forward, pull the trigger. There's more points. Don't for the do that. Point. Like we were trained, you put your pinky look away. Yep. Look back. I don't do the look away, but yes, away. I, I still do that. It's ingrained in my face. Do you? Yeah. yeah, I do the same thing. All right, pinky and look away. Who wants to talk about front plate placards? Let's I'll leave it. that up to y'all. <laughs> Do you, you hate front plate placards? It's not that I hate them. It's that you guys are the one testing them. I'm not. Well, you can join the party. But he's going to buy one. Yeah. He's which probably going to buy get, the one I have. I'll get whichever one you did on your video. HRT. Um, HRT. Yeah, that's the one. If I buy one, that's the one I'm buying. I like those guys a yeah. too. So full yeah, disclosure, um, HRT... <laughs> Actually, like, like, like nobody else, nobody in the other companies like gave us the time of day, um, besides HRT, and they're like super nice guys. Uh, I think they're kind of a big deal because the HRT guys work straight with um, Warrior Poet Society, okay. so I was kind of surprised, and they're just like, 
Like I was just chatting with my like, text to him and talking to him and say, Hey, Hey, X, Y, and Z. Like, Hey, can we get some patches? I never, like, these aren't even like on their website. He's like, can I get a cool patch or something? Like, yeah, it's on the way. So they were awesome. Yeah. HRT guys are awesome. I really like this one. Um, I wish they had the Kydex inserts though. Like people still talk about that. Can you do the Kydex on this setup the same way that I did on the, the yeah. strategic? Yes. Yeah. So I had like five people ask. Like, yeah, so you can you can also do, they'll fit in there just the same. Um, this is set up for Sin 62. But uh, you can do the same inserts. They fit perfectly. I just think this is an overall, like, complete a complete setup. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't need anything else when you do the HRT. Um, I really I really do love, I really love the Spiritus. But God, I don't recommend that to anybody. Like this experience, dude. I'm not is, gonna buy one one pouch at a time. That's no. dumb. That's and not only that, you gotta like you gotta like buy one pouch at a time. Wait, wait, and hope hope and pray it comes in stock. And you caught it, and you got it on sale yeah. before it sold out in eight minutes. It, like I'm I'm ready to dis disown PlayStation because of that nonsense. <laughs> because the PS5. I, I'm, yeah, I'm not gonna do it with a front plate placard. And when it is in stock, you never know what color you're gonna get. You're gonna have like multicam black, brown. That's why, that's why we have two because we just like because I was like, well, I can't find I can't find the multicam, so I just I was like, okay, I found the multicam black, but then I could never find the other pieces for this. So mm -hmm. then then I found the multicam and the pieces for it, but then I never finished this. So I'm like, okay, now I have two. I got two half finished ones. I ordered this flat from some other random company. I just I just gave up and I was like, this is just whatever. Like I, I'm over it. Um, it's just a huge pain. I, I was even for the Spears. I was even talking to somebody on the inside. Like they knew that we were trying to review their gear and I couldn't even get it. And they were giving me updates on when stuff was going to come out. And even then, I remember like a couple weeks. I told you guys, hey guys, they you know they have them available. And then like by the time you got it, you're like it's sold out. Like yeah, you missed it. It was literally literally four minutes. Like yeah. sorry. It's like trying to buy a PS5. Oh, Cody did that. No, a bunch of people did talk about wanting to see the RDR. You want to show a little bit about the RDR one, Cody? I think we have almost every carrier. Or yeah, so What's the difference on that one? I know, I know your big complaint that. was the flap, right? So mine came with two flaps. And it came with the Velcro... So these are the little inserts, the elastic inserts for magazines. So that's a three, three mag, two mag, pistol mag that it came with. Hmm. But How much was that I one? went ahead and got the Kydex inserts, right? Um, and so I'm a lefty, but I put my, these are on my offhand, and then I'm going to use this as an admin pouch. But then I still have room in here for like a tool. Multi yeah, throw a leather man in yeah. there. Yeah, so, so you have it set up almost exactly the same. Yeah. As as a normal, what I think would be a normal spirit of setup. So what what did that cost you? Let me look it up. Uh, no, I no want to say, I want to say it was seventy bucks. Oh, that ain't bad. Just this main pocket costs seventy. I'll tell you this right now. Yeah. Uh, I mean, let me look it up. But and um, there's no inserts, no nothing. And, but, I, and I know and so, thing, it's available. Yeah. So the company I bought these, have you seen these little things for the, the Kydex insert? Yeah, that's what I did on mine. That's what I did on mine, too. I, I shared it with somebody else on eBay. Or that, that the eBay link. Yeah, it was that's eBay. Like, was yeah. it Cowboy yeah. something? Yeah, that's how I got mine to stay together, too. We probably should but, link it. I'll, I'll see if we can find the link for it. He also makes these, right? So if you make this into a plate carrier, or I'm sorry, a, uh, a harness. That was the wrong way. <laughs> you stick it on there, and that way you don't have the Velcro rubbing on your. Yeah, your it's actually a pad. They do like a little, like most of these companies do like a little cover like this one. Um, that's all they do. It's not like an actual like pad or anything. But, yeah. That's but cool. yeah, I'll look up uh, what I paid for this. But I want to say it was seventy bucks. Yeah, I think but it's it kind of interesting. There's this new like fascination with rare i think maybe it's right up there with maybe it's right up there with the flashlights the more rare the placard is the more it, <laughs> it's great like but it's not i mean the spiritus is really good but it's not worth the trouble like it's not worth the time dude um, it's not even worth the extra cost 
for the RDR, no, you almost have the same exact thing. Like you just, if you, if you literally just need Instagram followers, then yeah, then yeah, 100% get the spiritist one. Um, yeah, you'll be the you'll be the most tactical person on the range. Your, your mod light and your spirit is like <laughs> no one will and know what carry, you're using. It'll carry the same gear that my you know fifty dollar Amazon or eBay or whatever will carry. I was way off. How uh, much so was it? One twenty. I thought it was expensive. One twenty. No, one twenty. Oh, okay. So it's about the same. But, but like the biggest thing is it's available. I mean, I'll pay. Yeah. I'll pay the same. For having something you can actually buy. Yeah. Made How in America, much, what, right? HRT. How much is the HRT? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's 99. Yeah. That's what I'm going with. That's and, it. And it, it has it has the two insert. pistol pouches on both sides. With Kydex inserts. With and I don't Kydex, know if you sorry. That, but what I did is I actually – I didn't explain it really well in the video. But I actually turned one of them sideways. So that's why the, one of the inserts goes one way and one goes the other. Um, because oh, it then came it with the insert, huh? It came with those inserts. Came with these, yeah. So I have can it, you fit three pistol ma or rifle mags in there? Or just two, three. These these are seven six twos. Okay, that's, that's why it looks funny. Cool. They did look good. Yeah, it just looks goofy. But yeah, you can fit, you can still fit the normal three. It comes with it comes with the three mag five five six insert. So when you buy it, it's like done. You don't you don't need yeah. nothing else. It comes Does it with come with the Kydex? Does it come with the Kydex 3 mag AR insert? No. Or is it an elastic? The elastic. One. The elastic. elastic. So yeah. Kydex yeah. for the pistol mags, elastic for the rifle mags. Yeah. I'm still going with that one. Yeah. And it would be super easy to swap it out. Um, I bet you could probably tell them, like, hey, get me a different insert. Like, hey, give me a 7.62 insert. And then you buy your own, like, 5.56 five, the Kydex inserts. Yeah. But like I was saying, I like to turn the sideways because you can fit a flashlight in there easier. I found that when it was forward, when the, the actual Kydex was forward, it was a little bit harder to get it seated in the right way. But you, mm. like just showing you can you can move it around if it doesn't fit quite right so it can be the other way instead of forward and backwards. It, it feels exactly like using S-Tech mags. So we all know that we all love those. Yeah. This is my number one. It's the cheapest. It comes together. They're the nicest company. They're great dudes. Do we have a uh, discount code for those? We don't. I asked them. Um, Dang don't. it. Yeah. Sorry, I, I, viewers. We try to get discount codes for y'all yeah. for everything that we do. Yeah, some I companies say time. sure, some say no. Oh, uh, and then Cody has that sweet one. That's so an expensive is, one, right? This is no. the Amazon. That's the Amazon this special. Is 30 bucks. Oh, that's, that's Amazon. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so there's cool. a bunch of people who were asking about seeing um, – there you go, Harry's like that thing is nice. I hope I was talking about the <laughs> I mean, it's a you can take all the straps off, and make it a placard. It's got it's got four pistol mags, three oh. AR uh, mags, and an admin pouch. And can then that a, bungee come off? Yeah, you can take AR all mags? the bungees off. Nice. Yeah. I hate bungees, man. And you can even take this little. You can take this nutsack off too if you want. It's just. Oh, okay. It's like a fanny pack without being attached, or is it you can't really float by itself? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then it's got these straps on the bottom for a tourniquet. Oh. That's pretty fancy. We'll have to go play with that. There was a lot of people asking to see, like, cheap setups. Like, they want to see, like, people love seeing those cheapo yeah. Amazon setups. Um, hey, like, like, number one, cheapest setup. Number one, go to LA Police Gear and buy their kit. That's yeah. number one step. Buy their plate carrier. It's like ninety nine dollars. That thing amazing. I can't so, believe how nice that thing is for ninety nine bucks. Dude. Here's a little secret too, and I don't know if I don't know if Mark's gonna be mad at me about this. Jason knows a little bit. I'll, I'll so I'm gonna surprise actually the team on this. I'm actually talking. Not I, we um, are talking about with LA Please Gear about designing our own front plate placard with them. So we may have our own modular setup we're gonna do with them at an actual like real price that isn't crazy. So. Hopefully they go with like some of the things we talk about that we really like um, that they're going to actually put together and not yeah. like make something that's, you know, 800 yeah. is not available. We've been talking about LA police gear a lot. I think our code's TLD10 for LA police gear. Uh, go on our website and make sure, but if you use TLD10, you'll save 10% on LA police gear. But honestly, that's the best carrier that I've seen 
for the money. I couldn't believe it. Yep. Right after that. watching I... Welsh's video, I was like, oh, I'm going to buy one of those. And I did. And I got it. And I loved it. Yeah. TLD 10, yeah. And Harry, yeah, I just Harry got the plates. Plate. Yeah, that's right. When Mark was on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We still yeah. gotta get him on. I want to get him on just like LARPing around in that thing. I mean, we, maybe we can give him some like some like live training tips. Like he can be some, doing some training and we can do some tips with him. Yeah. We can do something cool. 20 burpees, Harry. Now. Yeah, do yeah. it. We'll wait, we'll wait till we'll after wait. tax season, Harry. <laughs> he probably has to wear that at work right now. I don't know where's he live. I forgot. You live in Minnesota, Harry. Move. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, I thought it was interesting. I, I think the front plate placards are cool, um, but I still like the regular minimalistic setup. Like when I talk about the S Tech one, I kind of give us as the uh, you know honorary mention. I love that one too. If we're just going to be like, hey, let's just run. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to grab the yeah. lightest, cheapest crap, and just that just retains mags. Honestly. Honestly, that's all you need. I mean, some pistol mags on that would be nice, but that's why you have cargo pockets. <laughs> like, like this one. Like this one. I just found myself loading it up like with garbage. So I got yeah, and then and then up. you go prone. Then you go prone and almost throw up because you're hitting yourself in the gut every time. Yeah, and like this is the like it's just, if there's something open, uh, an open pocket, we need to fill it with some sort of random trash. Like yeah. oh, I put gloves in there and a compass and things. Like, dude, why? Why no. did you do that? Like, what's yeah, in your pocket? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> what's in your backpack? Oh, I didn't bring one. <laughs> oh yeah, wrong what's choice. <laughs> I didn't put anything in my pockets. I put everything in here. Like, <laughs> and then when you go to lay down, you're like. You're just rocking forward and back, trying to even find your him. elbows. I got him. <laughs> you could kind of, kind of make yourself to a tripod. You got your elbows and then the front plate placard that's supporting yeah. you. Yep. Look like a turtle on a back, only you're on your front. Speaking oh, of Harry, turtles. Harry's over there in South Florida. Like He's, he's living the good life over there. Oh, he's Speaking going to of turtles. All the, all the time. <laughs> living the good life for uh, until hurricane season. Yeah. Yep. And then, then and he's like, I'll, I'll take an earthquake any day. <laughs> All right, so what other cool um, optics and stuff have you guys been playing with? Anything new? Not really. I uh, I got my first, not optic, I got my first battle box in today. That's right. Ooh. Yeah, Jeez. so I am, like, super stoked about that. It is, uh, that video is going to be dropping tomorrow, but uh, it was the first time. I had I had a tack pack a total of 15 months, so I did it for a year and then three months last quarter. Never once did I open up a box and think I'm going to use everything in this box. And with Battle Box today, I open up my like, I can use all of this stuff, or I want all of this stuff. So it was uh, it was very refreshing. I don't know if it's going to be like that forever, but uh, I was really happy with the box. So that video is going to drop tomorrow, and we have a discount code for you guys for Battle Box. Yeah, man, Thin Line Ten. Dang. Dang. See, we're yeah. trying, y'all. Yeah, we, we try. try. I put it in there. We so, try. yeah, then you guys can watch the video. And if you like it or think it's worth a damn, you can uh, use our code and save some money and get yourself a subscription. Yeah. But we so want to show you guys first. Yeah. I thought it was funny because Jason gave us a sneak peek of what was in there. And I was like, ah, I just bought that. That one of the things he had in the box. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was, Jason it was did the same thing. He yeah, did one of the things in the box was something I just bought, too. I'm like, God, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to give a spoiler, but, but even I was looking at it like, man, I could use some of that. Like, we could put, I could put some of that in the kit easy. Yeah. So it was a little bit surprising. It was a mustard colored ball cap. No. <laughs> <laughs> With a crooked <laughs> patch. <laughs> Can we talk yeah. for a minute? Well, we're going to go into funny YouTube comments in a second because I got one you guys got to read. But the number of people, like, I don't know what it is. I, I'm, I'm honestly thinking that Tack Pack is tracking um, that last March video you did, Jason. Oh, because really? all of a sudden, out of the woodwork, there's like, Probably like 20 comments that are like, you can't believe how great what month is April? How great April is! It's the best box they've ever had. And I'm like, yeah, right. I told so I told Walsh this yeah. afterwards. Yeah. I said, go yeah. watch, go watch, <laughs> <laughs> go watch anybody else do a tack pack review, and it was like, this is the best box ever. I can't believe yeah. they sent us all this stuff, um, and and that wasn't my my intention was to try to be. As, as unbiased as, as possible, which is very easy when they sent me junk. And so the battle box, it was hard to, like, filming it, it was hard to hide my excitement. 
as I'm pulling, because I'm I'm recording it live, like I'm pulling stuff out of the box the same time I'm showing it to the viewers, and I'm just like, oh, this is cool. I would actually use this. I I, I just bought one of these, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, and yeah. full disclosure, some of the stuff we get we get sent to us, some of the stuff we buy. All the subscription boxes we just buy, like we pick which ones we want, like we want to see as a team. Like yeah. we, we do a vote with you guys too. Like, yeah, okay, we want to see that too. So our responses are genuine. Like, did I just waste 80 bucks? Did yeah. I just waste $60? Like how obnoxious is that? Yeah. Uh, I, the one thing that I was – oh, I totally feel you, Joe. Absolutely. <laughs> So Joe says, dude, I quit following like 12 people last year because they were doing tack packing, talking about how great it is. Those poop hats, man. <laughs> you got to get you a poop hat with a crooked patch. Yeah. I tell you what, maybe, this, <laughs> that maybe, maybe awesome. next month's live chat, we'll, we'll give away the poop hat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> be a random, yeah. Make that be a random prize. Like whenever – it just could be like, – I could trigger this now. Whenever Eyes Wide Shut talks – on next month's live chat, he can win that poop hat. Who would just say that? <laughs> <laughs> or do or do two winner right? Like have something cool and have the poop hat, and there are two winners, and you don't know what you're gonna get until it comes in the mail. You don't know. Oh, you don't know. Like you're the winner. You just it's a surprise. Yeah. Like, yeah you got a 50-50 like, oh, chance of getting the poop hat. Uh, <laughs> just real quick, I'm gonna take a break for a second. You guys chat. I'm, gonna I, I'm glad up. I haven't thrown that away yet. Yeah, no, no, we gotta give it away. Okay. I'm gonna pull up one a really good YouTube comment that I need you guys to see. So you guys chat for a second. Yeah. Let me let me grab Cody No legal box, here. Joe. Not gonna happen, man. I'm using that thing now. So uh, Joe just said, uh, no, I want the Lego box or the mag carrier. So the mag carrier we gave away last uh live chat to it was Steve, it happened to be the it. first, yep. It happened to be the I gotta mail that out uh tomorrow. I'm actually mailing that out. So he won that last week. And then the Lego box, after pulling it out of that ice block, uh, seeing how good it, it is, I, I don't have a truck to drive over it like Joe would, but uh, that's that's been my camera box. So I put my GoPro in there and all my GoPro accessories for when I'm out filming. So it's been great for that. You're not getting it. Sorry, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a second Pitbull Mac here, though. So if you treat me nice, maybe we can discuss that. Okay, you, you guys are going to love this. Okay, ready for this? All yes. Right, go. All right, not that. Oh, Wrong. flashlights. Yes. Screen. Perfect. Goodness gracious. Gosh, how much are we paying you? <laughs> I don't think I'm being paid. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think I've lost a couple thousand in this okay. <laughs> somewhere. Yeah, I don't think I'm gaining anything. <laughs> so, so check that. Look at this great comment. This, is, this made my day. You got to read it out loud. Like, I'm... Doing that off my phone. It's a red dot. Please review it as a red dot. No one is using a red dot past 100 yards. So how does it perform as a red dot? Really? That's a Holosun video, right? That you have yeah, on the Shrine uh, Bog that you were shooting at like 10 yards? Yeah. I mean, I don't know what video. I, don't, not, okay, I had so many questions. Like my brain broke. I was like, I don't know what video you watch, number one. I don't know. Who's only using a red dot to 100 yards? Because we covered it like a billion. I think I even mentioned it in that video. You can do a 50, 200, zero. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, yeah and one of the things we talked I about. I have a three like, by a magnifier behind my red dot. Yeah. It's bizarre. Yeah, right. I mean, the, yeah. the Trichcon ACOG, uh, ACOGs that are given to the uh, Army guys, they regularly qual out to 600 yards, that thing, I think. Right. So like, you'll love. So then I gave, I gave him a good comment back. Great trolling, man. Oh, uh, made my day. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you can do sometimes. Like, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't quite know what you're trying to get at here, but that is a great, great comment. Yeah. So, yeah, he has 15 minutes of fame. Yeah. Yep. I, I thought it was a red dot review. I don't know what else he would want. <laughs> I don't yeah. know either. I thought me using it close range the entire like, the entire like, video. If you were if you were out in the field, right, you were doing patrol, and uh, somebody attacked you at fifty yards, and you drew up, you shot him, and then there was another bad guy at one hundred and fifty. You'd be like, "Hold on, let me <laughs> either you come closer to me, or I'll come closer to you." I can't engage I mean, from here. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Yeah, here we go. Joe say, see, he's got my back. I was just shooting my red dot at 300 yards a few weeks ago. Well, yeah. you can't, just so you know. Nope. You, you can't do that. 
You're not using the red dot appropriately, Joe. Yeah, you should You're use wrong. an LPVO. You got to use an LPVO for that. That's why you should have had. Really you should have had a nine by thirty six scope. <laughs> but you, that was You're on wrong. PCC, right? That, yeah, that video. Yeah, it was, on, PCC. Yeah, it was yeah. on a stride bog. Well, that thing's ah, ugly yeah. anyways and shouldn't be in videos. I, I, my 9mm, we were at the range with my 9mm AR with a red dot on it, and there was uh, metal targets at 125 yards. And we were just, I mean, like small one, like this big, like little gophers and stuff. And we were taking pop shots at it and walking him in. I mean, it depends on what you have it zeroed at, but that was with I mean, a 9mm at 120 yards. Yeah, At 100 Whoops. yards standing, I'm sure each of us could shoot two MOA groups. I mean, we're talking two inches at a hundred yards. So you, yeah. you're like, oh yeah, Especially sorry, 150, with it. 150, I'm no good anymore. No, so, no. take it off. Iraq <laughs> veteran, <laughs> Iraq veteran, eighty-eight, eighty-eight did a video. It was titled like, "How far can a nine mil kill?" And I think using iron sights on a Caltech sub two thousand, I want to say he was able to hit stuff at six hundred yards. Yeah, I might be wrong about that, them? but it was it was far out. Have you seen the buffalo shooting competition where they shoot the – it's all metal, guys. They're not really shooting real buffalo. But there's like a metal heart this big in a, mm -hmm. in a steel buffalo, and they shoot open sights, iron sights, like 3,000 yards. Oof. Two That's to 3,000 yards. You saw uh, Jerry Mitchell like, shot a revolver 1,000 yards. Uh, hit the – I think it was first time. He had like an eight-foot holdover. He had a re this yeah. revolver. He was just like – it was like lifted it way <laughs> in the air and pulled the trigger. And it was a way to set the camera, like pull the trigger. And then he brings it down a little bit and he's getting ready to shoot it again when he hears it hit, hit the gong. Yeah. I bet you hey, somebody should, somebody <laughs> should uh, get on Jerry's comments and say he's doing that wrong. <laughs> Where's your red dot, bro? You can't do that. Yeah, you used that red dot wrong. Can't do that. Uh, You're using that pistol wrong. Yeah, it's so, a. Joe's chiming again, so I – but I can't use an LPVO as a red dot. Do I need to carry a different gun for every 10 yards? Yes. If you follow the internet, yes. LPVO is yep. only above 100, and don't you dare. Don't you dare use an LPVO inside of 100 yards. You will get about 1,000 right. comments about how dumb you are. And because you're going off of internet advice, every single one of the guns that you have to carry are going to be about three grand a piece. So good luck. Yeah, because those are the only ones that work. You yep, so the only one that will kill somebody if you pay 2000 or more for it. That's, oh, that's the only thing you can defend over. yourself. Awesome video. Did you guys <laughs> see um, Grand Thumb? He did a video. He had some realistic heads, and they like had the same skeletal structure and everything, and he tested out 22s. And he was trying to see how the 22 was for you know realistic shooting, like how much, how much damage will it cause. It was bad. Like the little 22 – it was yeah. going like like it won't like what's crazy is it's and this is kind of like an old wasp tale he was talking about is it doesn't have enough power to penetrate both sides of the skull so it just kind of goes in and then just like spaghettifies everything yeah, yeah. um he was but doing he, that he was kind of showing it it would go in and then not come out and like oh dude that's just causing all kinds of mess in there yeah i mean you can kill a deer with a 22 proper shot placement yeah i mean you start thinking to yourself how accurate like think of how accurate i am with the 22 like i'm just stupid accurate at speed with a 22 and yeah. so you start, start thinking like well what about a 45 like not so much but what's what's the killing power difference like not a whole lot yeah um, they talk yeah. about that i mean in, report. up into the i mean it might still be the statistic i don't know but the the caliber that more people are assassinated with is a 22 and i was saying that that fbi report they kind of break down how many shots it takes, like when there's like a homicide or something, how many shots it takes to kill them, every caliber to the head is one. <laughs> like, yeah. There's not like, oh, it took six to the head. Like, it's just one. Yep. Almost everything yeah, average watch, two. Watch one. swamp people, they kill alligators with 22. Yep, all yeah. the time. I mean, and think about how much more accurate, even a 22 pistol, like, you just sit there, like, it's like airsoft, it's like, <laughs> Like, you know, I remember last year when you gave me grief for wanting to buy a 22. No, I still want a 22, but now 22 is – it's the same as the Airsoft. I do yeah. love it, though. I do love it. And they're so cheap. They're so cheap to shoot. Are they still cheap well, now? I haven't followed yeah. it. No. You can't find ammo. No. It's just like everybody right. else. 
but I think like, I have a, I think I have a jug of, you know, it came in a little mini bucket or whatever, seventeen hundred yeah. rounds. I paid seventy bucks before COVID for seventeen hundred rounds. Yeah, I remember when they were like two cents a piece for a while there, and that's when you were like, well, just get a twenty-two. Just yeah. we were talking about doing that conversion, and I didn't want to like just uh, bore my barrel out, just shooting a thousand twenty-two rounds through it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and twenty-two all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I bought, Cody. If I, I get one more comment. Are people asking me to see your piece, your PCC? It's like every day. Where? When you see that PCC, bro, there are a yeah, lot of like, a lot of videos where people and and stuff not related to guns at all. People are like, "Hey, what's that video that the first guy is shooting?" Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, uh, at two seconds into the intro, what's he shooting? Like, yeah, that's the PCC. I'll go tell him. I'll go yell at him. He need to do it. That's because I'm so sexy. They just want to see me. <laughs> I don't have this taxable girth. I I do have plans for that, guys, honestly. Like you can you can ask these guys. We talk about it all the time. I do have plans. It's it's gonna roll out a whole bunch of stuff, but I just started a new job and so I'm freaking out. So give me, give me time. <laughs> I'm freaking out, man. Uh, you've snowing been posting right you've been sharing messages Colorado. about your job. I guarantee you are not freaking out. <laughs> I saw you set up two monitors. Yeah. yeah. So here's what I want to know. Go it's ahead, snowing in Colorado right now. What? Not like a little bit. Like there's over an inch on the ground right now, and it's still Such coming down. State. Right. Here, here's what I want to hear from all the all the people <laughs> who are watching. How many people would enjoy seeing a Cerakote video? I I would love to see it. Dude, it's you know, and my have... garage is a mess. I might have the video that I shot when you did my uh, my nine mil. No, you don't. I have it. I took it with my phone. Did it's you on my it? phone right now. I would watch an hour long video of Joe pulling off and stencil. or putting on and put yes, yeah, pull it, pull it off. Yeah. Just yeah, it's Just it's, like, it's like like <laughs> Doctor Doctor like Pimple, Pimple Popper. Popper. Yeah, it would be. I, I think I would be mesmerized by even even my wife said that she was like. She was like, how did Joe do painting? She was like, I would just be mesmerized by him like pulling those stencils off and seeing what happens when he's done painting. I'm like, I, I've been telling you that for like five years. Dude, oh, and one, you can't even you can't two, even use a red dot two? past a hundred yards. You can't use a red <laughs> dot past hundred yards. Do you know how many comments I get about how wrong I'm doing it? And wouldn't care. Oh, you're right. Because if you're, if anybody would. knows, if anybody knows, Serico wants you to uh, sandblast a gun, right? Take off the finish of a gun and then Cerakote on top of that. But no paint and perfect. It's the hardest paint that I know of. It's the hardest, but it's still going to scratch. It's still going to wear. It wears. So I don't, I don't sandblast the gun. If it scratches or if it comes off, then you still have the protection of the original finish of the gun to protect the gun. And dude, every single person, they, watch. Oh, they will, Every they will. single you you'll have fifteen comment before you before it's online for for ten minutes. Did they have, about how I, I do it wrong that with a QD and they told me I used it wrong. Like right. <laughs> there's no other way to use it. Yep. But even Harry, he'd watch one. Joe, I already said it a while ago. I want to see the Cerakote video. Maybe not the whole process, but just the high points. Yeah, maybe not the shh, just the constant oh. spring. It'll be it'll be like a forty time hyperlapse or whatever dude yeah, it's just cool. me walking around and every time you see me walking past the camera i'm gonna have a beer in my hand you're gonna be like does he just drink and paint yep that's what yeah. he does like i think it'd be awesome <laughs> if you set up just a couple of gopros like run two or three gopros and then just record the whole thing and then just only like do a close-up when you're like pulling the stencil off that's the only thing i really like would be like wow and then like yeah. one last one put it all together and see the whole finished product yeah you want to come out and then and then everybody will be that. like then everybody will wrong. be like, no, don't blend it. Just leave it the way it is. And then I'll blend it, and they'll be like, oh, it's even better now. Joe, could you imagine if they saw the um, distressed uh, Cryptek? Like when you're like, all oh, right, no, perfect. Let's go ruin yep. it. Yep. <laughs> that hurt my heart. <laughs> that one hurt. Oh, look that at this. Zachary's even talking about he literally just spared, shared Joe's information for a Cerakote job. Nice. I'm on board. I think Thanks, we need to just – we need to fund Joe getting an FFL so he can do a ton more seracoding. Mm, that would make him fun. <laughs> uh, Zach, Zach has like how many? How many do you have, Zach? Two, two seracoded guns, and I think I uh, I stippled three of his pistols. Oh, 
Oh. Yeah. Zach has a really nice bolt action rifle that I Cerakoted. He wanted it white distressed and it came out really good. It's just white distressed. Now, Zach, you realize you can never sell that again. That better be yeah. passed down to your you, children. You right. Good. <laughs> Don't, you'll never hear the end of this. Good God. I have to, like, yeah. I'll be honest with you. I'm actually having to actively go track down that gun so yeah. that I can get it back so I yes. can have Joe stop talking about it. Yes. That, that all needs to happen. Uh, that all needs to happen. Okay, do the 80s you. montage. Yeah, that's perfect. Do an 80s montage while you're painting. I think I'll, I'll be like, I'll be jamming to that. Yeah. Dude. Don't could you imagine having to paint? Believing. How am I gonna wear how am I gonna wear a respirator with my Casey Jones mask on? Just wear like, just just like a diver sure. diving goggles or something. Like, <laughs> <laughs> be like, all right, here we go. Next <laughs> I might do it. Uh, it's getting it's getting warm. If y'all, uh, I saw that. Yeah, thing, I saw that one. Yeah, That's what yeah, thought. you did. Okay. You did. Yeah, bolt action three hundred eight. It was it was nice. Can't find anything for sale. All the parts are sold out, Matt. Yeah. Yeah. Very true. Man, Very Matt true. says he needs to hurry up and retire and just build guns. I I, I know. I'd be a big I'm, fan of building that also. I'm a little bit mad that I didn't get an uh, invite to Matt's retirement. Uh -oh. Ooh, he got called out. Ooh. He just straight like just he didn't even like wait. He just like straight. <laughs> you didn't get a, you didn't get an invite to that. I no. went. I no, went. you you went. How was it? <laughs> <laughs> I was probably out of state anyway. So a funny matter. story about Matt. I don't know if he remembers this. So Matt and I shared. So we we uh, dormed right next to each other when we were in school down in Georgia. And the first day I got my handcuffs, I was sitting down in my bed watching. <laughs> watching TV, and I was just ratcheting the handcuffs, trying to like work them in, <laughs> just for I don't know, it had to have been like a half hour. And finally, Matt comes and knocks on my door, and he's like, "Will you please stop? Please stop doing that with the handcuffs." <laughs> hey, you know awesome. now y'all bring that up for my retirement. I did a face, like a face. What do you Facebook. call it? Facebook face group shot. or something? Face. No, it was a Facebook group where like my family could watch it, <laughs> and I didn't invite you guys to that Facebook. Yeah, you group. did. Yeah, did I, was, I? I watched it. Oh, yeah. you were there. I was yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Walsh was there. there. Where was Joe? I think Joe Joe was there too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not I told you everyone was there. I trying to see if we weren't there. <laughs> uh, so so <laughs> Matt, you know, four hours. That was. Uh, sorry, <laughs> Matt. <laughs> <laughs> hey Matt, June fourth, bro. June fourth. That's so, the date right now. Zach says he needs to have his RPR done. Do you still have that candy paint hiding around? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we forgot about that. So I have my Tika. We were talking about doing this, and I need to go visit Joe one of these days. We're talking about doing a mini trip to go visit him. I, I promise I'd hold on to it and we do it together. But we got some of this really cool candy paint that I'd love to see on like an RPR or like a competition. We, we do it on the competition rifle. It's not like a woods gun or anything. Um, so yeah, it'd be cool. And that would be that would be an easy jam. That would be an easy job. It's just, uh, yeah. Zach, go online and type in gun candy and oh, go to their it. website. You guys are talking. I'll pull it up. Okay. Yeah. They, it looks like the chameleon paints, and a yep. couple of them That's look really, really cool. good. I forget which one I have, but I have like seven or eight of them. I just need to buy the the clear Cerakote that you mix it in. Mm -hmm. And you kind of ruin a whole pint because the way that they make them, they, they measure it out however mm -hmm. much you need. And uh, you just dump the whole container into one pint of clear Cerakote, and then you paint oh, okay. the gun. That looks yeah, so the awesome. green one. Doesn't yeah. it? I think I'm going to do one of my rifles. Does, you should do my, a, you know, my uh, AR-10. I think what? what's cool is that I can bring that out when I come out in June. They like yeah. change colors in the light, which is it's hard to yeah, see. Yeah, it's like chameleon paint. That. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, like click Jason, on, click on the third third picture or fourth picture on the top Second i have to work in uh i have work in the uh, end of may beginning of june so i'm trying to plan my my trip out to colorado and wyoming around joe's retirement so i can be there for that that'd be awesome well okay, click one? on yeah that one that one click on that see that's that's just different light it's not different colors mm -hmm. if anybody know chameleon paint jobs on cars and stuff that's that's the purple and green. Oh, like that's yo. the same. That's the same paint job. 
Look at that on the M41. Yes, please. Yeah. Now, now click on the second picture, the more green one. Yeah, I think I want that one. We have. You mentioned we have that one. I would love to. See, like, I would love to see a precision competition rifle done like this. Like, why not, man? Just go crazy with it. Yeah. Look at that Where's riser it? on that gun. Like, he clearly yeah. uses that red dot past a hundred yards. <laughs> 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 Yeah, some of them gun candy look pretty cool. Yeah, Zach, hit me up, man. Um, I'll have more time this this summer after where's June Fourth, hopefully. Where's eyes wide shut? He's got one of these. He's got one of these uh, Cerakoted barrels, like the the gas can ones. <coughs> he needs he needs to get the rest of it done. Oh yeah, like match the slide and everything. There you go. That's what you need. Just finish her up. Yeah. Okay. On a pistol, I don't know if I do the lower. Yeah, I wouldn't. But. Yeah, it, Terry's saying it's kind of a novelty. Yeah, I don't think I would do it on all all rifle builds, but to do it on like a like a competition gun, like, yeah, why not? Like I think that would be fun. That'd be something something cool to see. But other than that, yeah, we want to see it because we want to see the paint on it though. I gotta get Je I gotta get Joe to do some cool hex pattern though. I would love to do some hex mixed in. We'll just yeah, yeah, <laughs> like a gray, black, and blue hex pattern on an AR-10. <laughs> Chambered in six five. Damn, that sounds. Dude, cool. how awesome would that be? I would love to find how one. How awesome would that be? Hey, no, if only so. there was a way that we could test out this theory. Yeah, I, I'm but gonna have. Alas. I'm just so annoyed that I'm gonna have to find who I sold that gun to and tell them I need to buy it back, and they'd be like, "Well, how much is it?" And I'm like, "Well, I really like it." Like, you just name and price. I'm so tired of this conversation. That's your fault. That's your fault in the first I just place. I it to Joe and be like, shh. I just say, shh. He's got one letter in there. He's like, shut up. And it's just going to be <laughs> in the box. Dude, if you do that, I, I can't move out of the way. Right above my gun safe right there in my gun cabinet, I'm going to hang it on the wall. <laughs> I, if you I do, do that, it will be on the wall. I do. I'll let my RPR if you can do that blue or green on it and do a video. There you go. Um, so what's go. cool about those is you can take them off the chassis. So like you wouldn't even need to send the whole rifle. We talked about that. That's the reason I haven't. No, he's in the go. same area. Yeah, oh. Zach lives in Colorado. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's why he brings over all of his uh, lowers and stuff for me to stipple and whatnot. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. You got a picture of it, guns. I'm sure I did. Hanging around, around somewhere. somewhere. Yeah, they're probably hiding on the website. Yeah, sure Zach, I'm one of my. Zach went one of my main customer back in the day, man. I could only count on Zach to get a new gun every couple months and, <laughs> and let me hook it up. It's like, oh, thanks, Zach. I was, I was running me, out of, me, running out of money in the funds. Let me hit that with the soldering iron real quick. No big deal. It looks, <laughs> yeah. it looks great. <laughs> yep. That's like the cheap way of doing it. Like, I don't got a stippler. Like, you got a, you got a wood burner. Like, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Wood burner, not soldering iron. Soldering iron, you're gonna burn right through it. But yeah. That's all I do. I just That's sit there wife. and do it with the wood burner. She practiced on one and then did another one. I think that hex, the, the cool design she did on my first one was awesome. Mm -hmm. I think Cody had the the first one she practiced on. Even the first practice wasn't bad. Cody was yeah. like, hey. Yeah, well. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, I like it. <laughs> he was like, can I have that? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> well, how is your uh, how is your your carry module for your 320s holding up? Because I seracoded those, and you've had those in and out of Kydex holsters thousands of times. I will How say, are they holding up? They're perfect. And so Cody's got one of them. He's got the Warren, which I'm sure is, is even – there's no signs of wear on that one. Um, but I, the one he did with the burnt bronze is the one I use – I probably use that every day. Um, mm -hmm. And it's pretty good. The only spot I would say you can see – a little bit of something is where there's like the super micro ridges, like in the grip, the actual like grippy portion where you can yeah. tell that I've, I've nicked it on something and just took the, the top of the peak off. Other than that, every once in a while, I'll take the grips off and I'll just clean them with alcohol wipes just to get them nice. And then I'll, I'll put the um, frog glue back on them just so they keep a nice finish and everything protected. But yeah. they're perfect. Besides when I ran them into something, but yeah, a couple of mine are showing signs where like the, the three, the SD mod two and 40, the one that I did cryptech on the slide, like mm -hmm. you can tell in a couple spots where it's, it's been nicked or whatever. I think it's because also all my holsters are light retention holsters. 
So most of the friction is happening around the actual light and not yeah. really around the grip. So it is, it's not really seeing a lot of the actual uh, holster itself. Yeah. But so that going to everybody out there, if you want to do Cerco, I highly suggest you do the distress look because the more you beat it up, the better it looks. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the other ones, like you can definitely like, if you do, if you do a Cryptek, if you use that, you're going to start to see the imperfections. I think that looks cool when it starts to look, has like a cool beat up Cryptek, a, a, a cool pristine Cryptek and then it starts to get beat up. But the battle, the distressed one you did for me, the first one you did, that's just a copy of what uh, Jason's pistol. That thing's seen everything. You could pull it behind a truck and be like, did it get any new marks? Like, I don't know. I can't tell. Like, right. I can't. It looks the same. It looks beat up. It looks yeah, awesome. Yeah, it looks, it's just <laughs> double beat up now. Like, whatever. Yeah. I love that. It's more authentically beat up. Would you scurry off to go get Cody? Oh, my dogs are whining in the hallway. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're at about an hour already, Cody. You want to bring us around the room and then close it out? Yeah, go ahead. Jason, oh. you got anything to follow up on? Uh, no, so just like I talked about, the Battle Box video is going to be dropping tomorrow. Stay tuned for that. I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited about the rest of the Battle Box. And, um, yeah, that's that's all I have coming out. And then we can talk about that one thing that we have. Who are you directing that to? You. If you're directing it at me, oh yeah, yep. Mm, super secret stuff. I'm excited yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't even know what we're talking about. <laughs> I know what he's talking about. So Joe, we know you've been out of town and running, running the world. Uh, yeah. What do you got? <laughs> what do you same got thing that I same thing that I say every live chat. Um, yeah, I got to shoot that plate. I got. Possibly some red dots coming for the Hellcat to look over. I got a couple. I got a. I want to do a red dot video on just like budget red dots. I guess you could say uh, cheaper red dots. Um, and then I still have to go shoot that six millimeter arc. We made our rounds. Um, oh, cool. Yeah, that's a joint venture with us, with myself and Sean from We Like Shooting. Um, and we're gonna go see if we can push them out to a thousand, but. Like I said, it's snowing out, and what out of yeah. the last six weeks I've been gone for over four of them. Yeah. So. Yeah, I just need to stay in the state and uh, get some good weather, and maybe I could get some stuff done. You got you got a bunch of fans on the channel, so Dan says you're the man, Joe. Oh, what's up, Dan? <laughs> Miss you, bro. Miss you, bro. Joe, Joe brings like his whole fan club to the live chat. Just like, <laughs> like oh, guys, it's no big deal. He's just, he's just nobody. These are my friends. Yeah. No, <laughs> well, it's funny because people that don't know Joe are always con interested in like, what does he look like without the mask on? <laughs> it's like this big secret. Trigicon. Yeah, Zachary, she wants, he wants a Trigicon SRO review. I'll give you – I think someone mentioned this on the on one of our – our post. I'll give you the Amazon version of it. <laughs> Widgicon MRJ. <laughs> Eight ninety nine. It really was great. Uh, I mean, I can I can break everybody's heart right now and say, no matter what Red Dot vid review I do, I'm probably going to say buy this egg. <laughs> yeah, Romeo Five. Yep, yeah. Zig Romeo Five. Unless you're like literally going to actually fight a war um, even then like what what is yeah. it not gonna do yeah so there was I, larry i think it was larry vickers he did a review uh, a, a torture test of a daniel defense rifle that had a aim point it's like the 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 same it's like the romeo 5 but it's the aim point version and he ended up saying like oh this is kind of a test of this aim point and one of the things they did towards the end is they put it next to some tannerite shot the tannerite and even then, like the, the aim point, the zero was off, but it still worked. It was still on. So everything that he did to that aim point, someone has done to that. The I forgot the guy's name, Joe. The Alabama or Arkansas dude that shot up the Sig Romeo five and like froze it, did torture test oh, yeah. it. Yeah. Um, so that guy did the exact same thing that Larry Vickers did with the aim point. You're talking about a red dot that's like a sixth of the price. And it went through everything the aim point did except for being blown up. And that's just because the guy didn't strap to some tenor and shoot it. Yeah, but mm -hmm. the, what made me buy the Romeo 
and why I do all the crazy stuff in my videos um, is I saw I saw somebody shoot it with a shotgun, and yeah. it still worked. Yep. I don't it's like, okay. There's a reason why you need to have things like those super robust things in the military, because when you just have it on loan, you treat it like a rental car. You're just going to throw it on the ground and you're going to smash it because you don't own it. You don't care. If you break it, you get another one. Who cares? But if you if it's your own item, you're probably not going to throw it on the ground as hard as you can when you get angry or just, right. oops, I need a magazine. Ditch this. Throw it on the right. ground. People um, don't understand how the military works. You'll be standing yeah. around bored and be like, hey, let's play some hacky sack. Well, I don't have a hacky sack. But I have this red dot. Now my optic. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. It's free. Seven hundred dollars. <laughs> Why not? Uh, so Matthew is saying, what about the Romeo Zero? Cody has an actual Romeo Zero. Um, no, he had the. That's he, the. That's the micro one. Yeah, I got the Romeo One. Oh, which one's the Zero? Romeo Zero, zero is the one is the for micro. the for the Sig three sixty five. Yeah, it's expensive, man. It's expensive. Yeah. They had it on sale today. It was like one thirty nine or one fifty nine. Oh, that ain't bad. No, it wasn't bad at all. No. Yeah, Joe I mean, Bob, Joe Bob Outfitters had it on sale. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. It's hard to review some of those um, optics because you need to have the right slide cut. Um, I don't like yeah. reviewing with the plates because it, it it really I don't recommend using the plates. So you kind of get stuck when you have certain slides. And we talked about this last week. You have certain slide cuts. You need to use certain optics. So even even if someone were to send us some optics, we're like, dude, don't send us that because we don't have anything to put that on. We don't have a cut that matches that. So unless you're sending us a slide, we can't help you. Uh, so that Here's, does happen sometimes. Uh, and so we're kind of limited. four hundred dollar. I think it's a four hundred dollar red dot. I think if what these go for the RMR, the, the RMS shield. Yeah. Yeah. The shield yeah. RMS. Yeah. It's polymer, isn't it? Uh, no. It's not metal. See, so everyone needs to know, metal. Joe has some optics he sees that he hates, and he he doesn't review them. Okay. I think the reviews when you hate something and <laughs> just banging out. So yeah, like, I think oh, it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to tell. So that that Romeo Zero is one one sixty at Joe Bob Outfitters. They have a coupon code right now, but that'll fit Joe's uh, Hellcat. Well, that's a deal, though. Yeah. that's a deal. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, what do we have for it right now? We have. So this. I have the Swamp Fox that's going to be coming you have to you. Swamp Fox, yeah. And then Ride On mm -hmm. is going to be sending us a micro for you to check out. So the idea is we're going to have all these. We're going to have almost every uh, every optic for the micro compacts. The only one that I think we're going to need to buy is the Tridgecon RMR CC, and then we'll have all of them. Yeah. And the Romeo. And could, right. Yeah, the Romeo. Um, yeah. So what is the optic cut for that 365 XL? That's the same, isn't it? That same mini cut? Yeah, it's the shield arm. I forgot to call it. Shield RMSC footprint. Yeah. It's yeah. the same. The 365, 365 XL and the Hellcat, all of that same. Matt, I can tell you don't waste your money on the shield RMS. <laughs> I can tell you that much right now. Don't waste your money on it. Sell that one. Oh, we'll review it quick and then sell that one for something else. Better yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. So it's not. It's not that it's terrible. Number one, it's always on. Okay, uh, no worries there. I guess. Number two, there is no brightness setting on it. You can't turn it up or turn it down. And number three, I don't have astigmatism. And when I look through it, I see, like, if I'm at full full stretch, I see probably eight different dots. And it it doesn't make a round dot. It makes like a really weird shape. And sure if you get your eye seen? close, if you get your eye close to it, you can see like thirty different dots in there. It's weird. Yeah, I don't. I want to see that one for sure. No yeah, and what's crazy? I looked at the I looked at the Swamp Fox, and the Swamp Fox does the same thing. It's just not as bad. Maybe it's use eyes. No, it's not. I mean, I could see how dirty that thing was just from you flashing it on the camera. Yeah, that's because I keep it in the holster, and it likes to collect dirt. In the top of yeah. it, lint, That's pocket stuff. Oh, see, I'm talking about. See, Joe, he's like a wise man. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that I was looking through one of my optics it's and I not. thought I broke one of them. I, I was looking, I was doing, I did a shoulder transition and I'm just switching over. I'm like, oh my god, I broke. When did I break this optic? 
and I'm looking through it, and it's just like this disaster of a red dot. And I'm like, oh yeah. my. And I look through the other one, I'm like, oh no, it's fine. <laughs> it's just my eyeball. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have astigmatism and I had I had somebody with astigmatism look through it and they just saw like the starburst all solid. Mm-hmm. Um and then I had two other people with no astigmatism look through it and they confirmed it's a whole bunch of little dots. Even mm-hmm. my daughter was like, I can't even count how many dots that is. And I'm like, Yeah, no. Yeah. That's yeah, that's I doesn't yeah. Cool. But, so that's you know, Romeo, it's, uh Matt, it had it's shake awake, which is kinda cool. So Joe was saying that his shield is always on. The Sig Romeo, they they tout a 10-year battery life, but it's because when you're not moving around, it stays off, and the moment you draw it is when it comes on. So it's a, a, for the price, for 160 or whatever at Joe Bob Outfitters, 20% Do off. It. I think the code is SIG, SIG20. It was in an email I got this morning. Um, but I, uh, I, I would recommend that one for the price. Yeah. For for the discount, don't even wait for us to review it. SIG, they, they don't – I don't think – quote you know correct me in the comments if i'm wrong i don't think they make their own uh their own optics but whoever they go through to make their optics they're good well, i know that their the romeo 5 sure. is made by holosun yeah yeah i'm pretty sure if... it goes through holosun as oem but yeah 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 they're good they're good stuff I don't want to buy a red dot that gives me the same effect my eyes naturally do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah the best one yeah. Yep. I mean, they're micro red dots. It, it's on. It's on a gun that this big. You know what I mean? Um, it's not like I don't really care how big the red is. The the actual dot. I would just be mad if I paid four hundred and some dollar for it. I got it in a trade, so I can't complain. But well, I'll tell you, I got one. Where I'm working on. Um, we just got the new uh, Brownells, and I don't know where I put it. Uh, the Brownells MPO 1x8. So it's interesting. We talked a little bit about it last week. Uh, I showed a little bit, um, and we'll be doing it next week for a review. It's second focal plane. So 1x8 and second focal plane. We all talked about how we really like second focal plane better in the 1x6s. So I'm curious to see what the rest of the team thinks, if, if 1x8 is too much or if it's that sweet spot or that, maybe it's just the limit. I do like how the reticle that's on it um, – it, it's got a, this weird cross, but only the center dot is red. Um, it kind of has some highlights around the rest of it, but it's it's going to make the internet super mad. Like, You're using it like a red dot. Like, hey, Abel, it literally has a red dot on it. Yeah. So I'm going to use it that way. So uh, I'm looking if, forward to that review where I can be a complete jerk. <laughs> yeah, that is going to be good. I don't understand everybody line of thinking on that. Is Why do you have a good? one power if you're not going to use it like a red dot? If then just buy a three by nine and call it good. They want four hundred dollar flashlights because they need flash flashlights. Yeah. Yeah. With with five dollar batteries. <laughs> Hope those batteries don't die there, fancy guys. <laughs> <laughs> Who's over there? How do you guys? How come you guys? Why are you working? Like, bro, we have these crappy O lights. Like, what happened to you guys? Like, we don't have any more batteries. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a meme one time that it was like, it the the setting with the zombie apocalypse and I forget everything that it said, but it was pretty much like when the zombie apocalypse kicks off and I use my, and it just listed a whole bunch of cheap stuff on a rifle to smoke you and take your, and it had a whole bunch of expensive stuff on a rifle. Right. And that's what it comes down to. It's whoever fast, not whoever has the, the best. As some guy in gear. MPGs and some full setup is going to get smoked with an M one grand. Like, yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From 300 yards, like, with, yep. on irons, like, Ooh. Yep. Yep, because they didn't have the cup on their eye, and, and it illuminated their whole face, you know? <laughs> Just something dumb that they didn't go out and train with their stuff. So their MVG illuminate their whole face green, and some, oh. some old-timer with a with an M1 just going to smoke them. Bing! Be like, well, guys, I, I shot them in the chest, so I, I got us some new MVGs. <laughs> <laughs> aim lower aim lower we need those <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh. alright good yeah I think we're I think good so, so yep. I'm gonna plug 1441 gear before we leave yeah go ahead sorry my, my dog's whining um, <laughs> T- 14- TLDCO yeah contact yeah. Chuck he'll make you uh, anything Anything your heart desires. Uh, we all 
at least have two of his holsters each, right? I think. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Oh, man. and let me let me tell Zach real quick. He went through uh, he went through another company, and and he had to send all of his mounting hardware to that other company in order to get a holster. Zach, if you go through fourteen forty one gear, he has all of the. There you go, Cody. I wish I had my fancy one down here. He's got yeah. cool prints too here. I got even one does print. stuff if you want to do level two. So mine, mine that I have has uh, level two on it. Yep. And you can do some really like some cool, cool prints. Like you did this on. I uh, got this pistol mag holder and then this rifle mag, but it's the same print on the actual holster. You can do it on the insides too. Yep. And ours came with all of the connectors on it. You don't have to send anything to him unless you want something very specific and he doesn't have it, I guess. Yeah, but he can do most stuff to connect into like UV. We like to connect into the UVLs and QLSs yeah. and all that standard Safari Land stuff, and he can do all that. He's got all what he does. Yeah. What was the discount code again, Jason? TLDCO. And uh, chat, Walsh, Walsh put it in the chat. So it's down there. Yeah, go save some money and get a, get a great holster. The guy is super nice to work with. And if if you're confused about anything, because he has tons of options. He basically has options for every gun that's out there. If it's not on there, he said he would go buy the blue gun or buy the green gun to make it. Uh, he'll buy the flashlight so he can make a gun that uh, will hold the flashlight that you want. Uh, great, great dude to work with. He likes the light, too. He has yeah. all the flashlights. Yeah. yeah, I even told him about my Hellcat where I removed the thing and just put the screws in it. And he was like, okay, no worries. That's what I'll do to the to the O light when I make your holster. And it fits mm -hmm. perfect. So thanks, awesome. Chuck. Yeah. Great dude. Great dude to work with. Yeah. And then our buddy Steve at Dragon Mounts. The winner can't of, wait our, to see. of our yeah. last giveaway. <laughs> what? Yeah, That's yeah so you missed that. Yeah, yeah, so we, we were talking about before and like, hey, the first person that comments, we're going to give him this Pitbull Tactical. And it happened to be a guy we had no idea. Even Cody was like, oh, Steve, congratulations. And then he commented, like, I'm from Dragon Mounts. And Cody was like, oh, that's Steve. Yeah, I didn't know his last name, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Because he sent you. me these. Huh? It, it shows you that when we do these giveaways for live chats, we literally just like, yep, you, you, whoever, whoever it is wins. Dude, I can't wait to see your 1911 just sitting on your desk. It's yeah. right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, and yes, another, another su super cool guy. He's part of the, the Thin Line defense team. He's a he's an Army veteran. He's a, a sheriff's deputy. Uh, he's a coroner. Uh, super awesome dude. Same same as Chuck. You know, he was engaged with me through the whole through the whole process, like talking to him about what we were looking for. Uh, he worked with us with the logo. Uh, like I mentioned last week, unfortunately, he won't do the logos for like a single uh, order. But if you order a bunch of them for like, say, a display or something for a, a gun show, he'll throw your logo on there. But uh, check his website out. He's got wall mounted uh, mounts. He's got desktop mounts. So yeah, that's I what I'm going to use to put the, the AR-10 right yeah. there. Right there. Yeah, yeah. Which one? Which one are you putting there? I don't know, dude. I don't know. <laughs> My so first I do owe Steve. That sold. Like a later video, it's gonna be in the background. Like I was gonna be able to like just don't even talk about it. Like just don't even talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> but I do owe Steve a video uh from TLD, so I'm gonna do that and then after that I'll do the PCC video. Mm. But that's my plans. Sweet. So one of these days this year. This year, it'll happen. It'll happen. Hopefully, <laughs> yeah. hopefully. But that's hey, it, guys. Yeah, and huge shout out to to all my buddies out there. Thanks for showing up and thanks for commenting. Yeah, uh, thanks. Really appreciate it. The Joe, fan yeah. we couldn't have done it without the Joe fan club to showing up. He brought all his friends <laughs> out. <laughs> you know, if no, I wasn't that, here, I'd be there. Yep. Yeah. I'd so the I'll Joe say, I'll say, I miss you too, Zach. Uh, Matt, uh, for June is retirement, so put that on your calendar. And Dan, miss your face, man. Hope you're doing great out there on the East Coast. Uh, I wouldn't want to live where you're at, but I hope you're doing well. <laughs> but that reminds me, so now we're, we're streaming across all those different platforms. So bring your friends next week. Bring your friends on Facebook, on Twitter, on uh, win something. YouTube. Yeah. yeah. We we enjoy interacting and talking with you guys. This this is what why we come every week to do this. So 
keep keep yeah, bringing if we people. Just us shooting the crap. We would just not record it. <laughs> we do yeah. it all the I time. Mean, we do it all day. Just don't day. record it. <laughs> so it's literally for you guys. Um, we're here to answer any questions and to interact with everybody and bring you guys content. So let us know what you want to see. Let us know what you want us to talk about. We can change this yeah. up. If you want us to focus on a certain subject, let us know. Yeah. Yeah. But again, guys, thanks for coming out. Uh, if you're new, subscribe. Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to T uh, Thin Line Defense, uh, where we do gear reviews. Uh, and come back next week. We'll see you then. Check you later. <laughs>